Hello and welcome to Grand Arena Championships. I'm Heathen13 and this is Season 14, Week 4, Round 1. This is our final week of this season and I am currently undefeated, but last week I unlocked Jedi Knight Luke and I really inflated my GP and now I'm in a pool with some players that have some Galactic Legends. My first opponent is Alex, so let's look at the matchup. All right, when we look at the hotbot here, you can see I have the majority of green on my side. Zooming into the statistics, and you can see I do lead in every category, but Alex is not a bad player. He has over a thousand offensive wins. He also has over 400,000 lifetime banners. So I think Alex is a decent player. When we look at the roster matchup, I do have about 200,000 more GP. I also have a higher top 65, but he has a higher top 80 GP. I do have six more Zetas, and I have a little bit of a speed advantage. But Alex does have more G13s and more G12s, so he will have more to work with. I do hold a considerable advantage on the mod side of things, and I actually have more relic levels, although he has one more tier 7 character than me. And it is that third tier 7 character that allowed Alex to unlock Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. You can see I do have Jedi Knight Luke, but he has SLKR, although he's only gear 8 at the moment. So I'm not sure that I'll be seeing him. I'm guessing that he's kept him for offense, but we shall see. He also only has a 5 star gear 9 General Skywalker. But on the ship side of things, he has both a 7 star Negotiator and a 7 star Malevolence. My Malevolence is still only 6 stars. When we dive into his roster, you can see he appears to be running a Darth Revan squad in the arena, even though he has his SLKR unlocked. And you can see the majority of his gear 13s are related to unlocking Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. He does have his Separatist droids relicked up a little bit. He also has his Padme squad relicked up a little bit. You can see CLS is there as well as Jedi Knight Revan and Grandmaster Yoda. Now I'm attacking a lot earlier than I normally do. I happen to find the time to do it now. And it turned out that Alex has already attacked. So let me show you what he was able to accomplish. He started up top and one shot my Night Sisters right off the bat for a full 60. And then he got stuck on Padme. It took him four tries to get my Padme team down. And then it took him an additional two tries to get my Dooku squad down. I'm thinking he took his CLS against them because it was my Django who was there at the end. He killed everybody else. I'm guessing he timed out on them. Down below, he also took two tries to get through my JTR with the resistance bros, and then he never tried gas. So I essentially have wasted a Grievous squad here in the back because I don't think he's ever gonna come back. He's already used a lot of teams. Now. I noticed in his GAC history that he likes to set both his Malevolence and his Negotiator on defense, so I kept both of mine for offense, and so I set my two next best teams on defense. I put my home one here, and he took two tries and couldn't get through them, and I also put my Thrawn squad, but I put my Houndstooth with my Thrawn just to try and screw him up more. He took two tries there and didn't clear either. That is all six of his capital ships and so he is not gonna get through any of the ships. So I have a lot of wiggle room here today. Let's look at what he set for me for defense. He put a Jedi Knight Revan team, and then he did put a First Order squad with all of his relics on there, but no SLKR. So I don't know if he hit him in the back or if he just kept him for offense. He also put his gas squad here, even though his gas is under geared. And down low here, he put his Knight Sisters with Nest and Geos. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of a gamble, but I feel okay taking this gamble because I already know that my opponent has only cleared one zone. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Vader here up front on the Night Sisters because I liked how well that counter went last time. That might be a mistake if he kept SLKR from the back. I might be wishing I had a Watt then, but if that's the case, that's the case. And if I don't clear, I don't clear. So let's start off with the Night Sisters. We'll bring in our Vader squad. I don't think I need everybody here. 
Uh, in fact, I think I only need Palpatine, Vader, and Watt. But I don't need any undersized feats or anything, so I'm just going to take the whole crew. Alright, so we will take the weapons tech on to Vader. Force crush that merciless. We will... Let's see if we can just kill what uh, Nest right off the bat. Yep. Massage. Zombie. Let's force crush again. See if we can throw on Daka. And one more on Talzin. And there we go. So, so we didn't get any extra banners, but a perfect 60 is fine. All right, on this Geo team, I'm gonna attempt to run my Bounty Hunter counter again. I thought that worked out really well. Between week three and week four, I moved some mods around and made Grief Karga a little faster. So hopefully this is a more consistent counter for me going forward if I want to. So we will taunt to get the frenzy up. And then we will call everybody to assist. And I've already screwed up because Soldier was faster than I thought he was, which I am actually really surprised. I didn't think he was fa faster. So that's a bummer, but I will go ahead and keep calling people in. And I've got my contract up now. And this may not work. Definitely not working. Wow, that sucked. All right, well, let's forfeit that out and we'll bring Treya in. I'm gonna have to go back and double check the speeds because I am almost positive that I had him. Uh, so, frustrating. Almost positive that I was faster than everybody, but apparently not. I missed, I overlooked something. So, all right, all right, all right. Get off a of Treya. Oh, come on, Scion. There we go. Killed several people, and one more. Well, this wasn't pretty for sure, but we're through. Really do hate to waste a team like that. Let's see what he has for me in the back. And no SLKR. So a Newt squad and a Karth team. All right, well, let's go back up to the top and we'll take those ones out. We will start with the tough one here with these, this crew team. And I'm gonna go after with my Jedi Knight Revan. Uh, I only have two relics here. I don't know if this is super stupid or not. Part of me wants to take in Jedi Knight Luke as well, but I'm gonna go with this um, configuration and hopefully not a mistake. So we'll mark Hux right from the get-go and see if we can get him out of there. Need one more nice hit on him. There we go. And let's see if we can strip that taunt. Ouch. Wow. And there went Jolie. That the savior on that happened so fast I didn't even realize it had happened. So let's try and get Sith Trooper out of here next. This is where the extra relics would have made a big difference, I think. Let's go ahead and taunt up. Pass it back and spread some foresight. And we're stuck back behind crew. I don't think my old Ben is going to last long. He is also not relic See if we can finish off crew, maybe. 
I'm actually going to go after Executioner and see if I can finish him off first. And there's crew. So this is not going to be pretty. But should work. Alright. That's fine, I guess. Um, next we'll take the gas down with my CLS team. Just go straight after Skywalker. There we go. Kneeling already. There is fives. We'll take him out next. Let's pile on. And Rex. Let's go ahead and do the AoE. Nice. There's one more down. And two. All right. And finish. I feel like that's a pretty decent, reliable counter against weak gas teams. Here we have his Jedi Knight Revan. We will go ahead and take our Darth Revan squad, but we're putting in T3 because there's a feat for HK and T3 to be in the same team together. So I don't think that's going to make a whole lot of difference as I am. Should just destroy them. death mark on him so he is gone let's do that sure why not let's go ahead and AOE since we've got it take down Basila and Kenobi alright so we lost a little protection on somebody but got that one and made Kyber again And we have won this match as well. And if we look back here, he definitely did put both of his GT2 ships here. So we're gonna cross mirror these. I'm gonna take my negotiator against his malevolence and my malevolence against his negotiator. So why don't we jump in and do those. And that should be enough. He doesn't have Hound's Tooth in here with him. So I'm fairly confident that this should go fine. Famous last words right before I get smoked, right? Let's clear that off. And, oh, we can just take Anakin out. Nice. Is that Rex there? Must have been, yeah. Didn't start with a tank. That is, um, that's crazy. Especially on defense, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in Spy. We'll get some big hits and blow some people up. Blow Rex up. We'll get Clone Sergeant out of here. And just got little old fives left. He's going to get another one out, though. Uh, let's stun him. Ah, bummer. Put the buzz droids on everybody. So we can start assisting again. There we go. And there we go. 59. I'm not going to complain. All right. All right, so my negotiator against his malevolence. Interesting, he doesn't have the vulture droid or hyena bomber there. Uh, we're gonna go with this configuration. And let's actually leave, no, let's bring fives. I can't afford to lose this. Otherwise I'm coming with my finalizer, uh, which I'm not super confident about. Sun fact, let's do that. Oh, I probably should have hit spy so he couldn't stealth. It's fine. And 
give that there and let's get our taunt up. Now my Y wing is still low stars, so a little weak. And they both have target lock on them already. I don't have buzz droids on me. So let's go ahead and bring in fives and go for a big hit. Oh, close. So close. Oh, there he is. All right, that's fine. Now I'll bring in Plo Koon after this. Um, there we go, got them out. Let's get that up so that we can't die or so we'll revive. And don't need Plo. There we are. All right, well, like it when that works. Let's go into the back and we will take the normal Geo counter here. I do enjoy good Geos versus Newt because you get to assist on all of your uh, whatnot. And he's got Watt here. I'm gonna go ahead and strip that off of Droidica so I can go after him after I kill Watt. There's Watt gone. And then I can go right after Droidica without all of that uh, the damage immunity stuff going on. Uh, let's clear all of that speed down. Uh, I probably should have wait, waited for the burning. It's all right. Nobody's stealth, because everybody is. So there's Watt once, and they're still all stealth. Looks like I'm going to have a little time on my hands here. Uh, oh, well, I guess not. Should have healed when I had the chance. That burning plus Django's big hit cost me one. Well, let's heal up now. Although I just cost myself three banners. That was pretty poorly played. All right, one last battle here. We got a cart squad. We've got this beautiful Jedi Knight Luke team here. So we will bring them in. And let's pile on mission. So she's dead and let's stun them all. And call Luke and he's Pretty much just gonna one shot everybody. Let's call Luke again. And we'll, hey, give this to Luke. Now, I did mod him to be uh, to be able to go after uh, Galactic Legend, so he's not slow, otherwise I'd put him on defense. So for now, he'll stay on offense this week. Um, and hopefully next round I'll be able to use him for something better than a cart squad. But that is it. We got a total of 2090. Dropped that bat, that one battle and lost some banners on a couple others. So our final score is 2090 to 1205. I don't think my opponent is going to come back to attack anymore. So that's it. I want to thank Alex for the match. I want to thank you for watching and I will see you in next round.